G'day, welcome to uh, my Oxygen Not Included game at session number 62. Uh, as I continue on to try and survive uh, while knowing as little as the dupes do. Okay, so um, thank you for those who commented on the previous video. Um, definitely uh, a lot of answers regarding my question on the smooth hatch. So this guy here, I can't see on this um, because I've never seen one before. So all I have to do is um, wait until he's uh, he's created. Once he does arrive, then I can make the, the command for the drop off. Uh, and if someone actually did point out that I've got to double check that once it's born, it'll probably be the young smooth hatchling that I'll be able to move there. But at some point I want to double check to make sure that I can also do smooth hatchlings as well, just in case um, one of those comes up. Uh, for one person's peace of mind, they just wanted to confirm that I do have this still set up correctly, that the hatches are eating sedimentary rock, the hatchlings are eating sedimentary rock, but the stone guys are eating... Um, ...metal, which they aren't, which we do want because we want to be able to make those. So these guys should be eating some sort of ore, uh, but obviously we're out of ore at the moment. I'll have to address that. Oh, no, no. It's not saying that we're out of ore. It's saying that I just don't have any ore in here at the moment, right? So let's pivot that to... No. Let's... Let's copy that. What would happen if I... If I pivot this to say ore for the stone hatches... That mean that someone has to eat. So storing nothing of two thousand. It should be fine, right? We'll get that in there. Thank you for for querying whether that was actually sitting correctly. I thought it was, but um, obviously not. So doing that should increase our chance of getting more of these guys. Uh, and how far off is he? Still a while. I would expect that we're not going to see him for another day. Where are our girls? Why is no one on our generators? Did I make the priority of that other generator high? Nine and nine. See how quick these other guys move, though. Just love how, like, unsure they seem while sitting on those seats. See nails is asleep over here. Just blow my mind how athletic everyone else is. That there definitely is some work to do for everyone else to catch up. But I can see that she's moving a bit quicker now. That it's at least at a competent level that they'll be able to survive, I would imagine, if, if they were thrown out into the into the real world. But what um, what should I be targeting in that 10? Is that too high? Do I only need to say something like 8, 6? Like I said, she's moving pretty well at this point and she's at 5. But do I really need to run him into the ground or do I just wait until I get... If I've got people that are just generally going idle around the camp, should I just wait until I need extra bodies and then get them out of there? Or I imagine just running around is going to help them out. Um, alright, so, next thing. This pump. So there certainly was plenty of reminders about what I could do with plastic. So I think that the first thing I can do is obviously there's no harm in just doing that. So that this guy can operate too. Uh, it was pointed out that the monument uh, will need plastic. So that is one very good reason to just sort of have, have a nice long section of it going. Uh, the other one was fast ladders. Was was another suggestion that I could use it for. And then also um, a few people did talk up the value of actually using those um, transit tubes. That is worthwhile. Um, so... Good to know with all of it, so we will get this guy attached and pressing. 
Um, two different thoughts of mine in the comments about whether I should actually be using this oil refinery or not. Um, some said no, that I had enough, probably natural gas. Uh, I do, do like it as well that, um, do we go for petrol or do we, do we change to natural alternatives? I'm saying, well, hang on, hang on, let's hear out both sides here. Um, it was the wiring though that was the problem. So the wiring for the refinery and the gas, uh, sorry, the gas refinery and the glass, I read my writing, uh, it needs to be upped because the potential load is higher than, than the 1000. Okay. So let's do some rewiring. Now, I assume that that would mean that these would all sort of be similar. It's just going to be... Where does it say on this? There we go. Okay, max power 1000. So if I look at this one, max power 2 kilowatts. It's the difference between a KW. Is 2 kilowatts 2,000 watts? What? What's... Alright, Ian. This, this one I will, um... Look up. How many... Capital W in a lowercase k, capital W. 1,000. Cool. Alright, so I can use conductive wires. Look at that. Look at me looking up something on my, all on my own. Okay. So, let's just replace... This with that. I assume it just replaces it, right? They're not going to just build over the top of it. Like. And then this guy, the tower, same thing. So let's get that conductive wire. Good. It's already opting to go for lead. Definitely the one that we've got the uh, available resource of. Keep forgetting that all I have to do is just work my way back on that. I don't have to change to cancel. I can just go, oh wait, no, come back here. Yeah. Fix it. Okay. So that should fix all of that. And we'll just double check. Yes, there you go, 2000. Good to know. Let's have a look at what we've got here. Increased machinery, isn't bad. He's a decorator I don't need. But an increased bladder. Isn't the worst thing in the world, but I don't think I need someone. Let's just take a pip egg, because I don't know what a pip is. And so maybe that means it's a bit more rare than that other thing that was sitting next to it. The fact that I do need all the um, plastic does a little bit make me think that I don't need to... I shouldn't be using the oil for... Um, other jobs. It's just more that there's so much oil down here. I'm not sure it overly matters. Um, that we can still continue to go on and attach to even more sections to, to make sure even more oil is working its way down to this pump. Potential load 2000. So it, that's its wire too. All right. So let's have a look at that wiring too, because that. I guess that's the total load of everything connecting to it. 
that. So that would just be if everything was on at the same time, I suppose. Maybe we'll be a little bit more reactionary with that one. Um, although it'll just be, say, something like this guy requires more than a thousand energy, wouldn't it? Oh, no, we'll wait to see if anything on that um, has a problem. Okay, so let's go have a look to see what they're doing with the uh, the telescope and my route to there. Top. Right, this is the other side. It's just where we're doing some exploring. Is this one? We're getting there. That's at least all the way through. Potential load on that wire is. 110. I am I am tempted to rip all this up. Actually, I might. Who cares? Just for the sake of prettiness or something. And I guess the fact that I didn't do need to make it the conductive wires. Let's um go deconstruct everything on this side. Cancel everything on this side. Uh, and then let's go gas pipe. It's a waste of a lot of oxygen though. And that part at least is finished. Mm -mm -mm. Alright, so we won't be as dramatic with that. This one we will just go... What's the conductive amount of that bridge? Maximum safe wattage is a thousand. Alright, so can we up that bridge to a conductive bridge? But I have to get rid of the other bridge first. So, so it's currently getting overloaded because the uh, I've accidentally connected that other. Um, no, no, sorry. just scream an alert. I'm gonna get rid of this before it blows up. I don't know what happens. Uh, and deconstruct that at the same rate, please. Because that's hurting this guy. annoying when you do something like that. Ah, oh, someone. Oh. In the tiniest of margins there. Okay. So let's build this guy back. Get that. I connect it there, and then let's continue on our merry way. This is where... Instead we just go straight up. I feel like everything's been removed. Gotta put an order in to deconstruct all of this. Let's double check that. Wow. Wow. I said wow. Wire. Wow. Deconstruct. 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 I'll leave him busy for a little bit. 
Hopefully that wire will get done with a bit more urgency. Uh, let's dig out that problem. I still um, just to check back on our water as well. Our water is still doing fine, even though that's become used for for the bathrooms. So you still see them holding their breath down here. And I could always move the skimmer the skimmer's sensor lower. But part of it is just that I want the oxyferns to be able to stay active. It's at least good to see that all almost all the ox uh, carbon dioxide in the compound does end up in this, this room though. I guess with the exception of that, As we've run on triple speed here, so let's slow that down. And liquid intake. Awaiting coolant. So, let's make sure we've got this right for this guy. Firstly, I think I can turn this guy on. That's all right. Need him for ceramic. I recall correctly. Clay. How much clay do I have? I imagine a fair bit. 46 tons. So how much clay do I need? Assume that clay was something to do with this guy. Ceramic. 2,500. So it does cost me coal as well. Got 33 tons of coal. So if I need 2,500, then I would say 25 orders of that. Diamond, glass, steel. So if, if we just look at on this too, then glass is the other thing that we need here, and that's 2,500 glass. So we've got glass sort of set there. No power. All right, that power cable's not plugged in. Definitely a problem. Why not though? Are you not on? Deconstruct. Disable building. So that generator is definitely on. He's idle because that guy's at 100%. I mean, it doesn't look like that cable's plugging into him. Let's um, deconstruct, say, these two cables here. And... Now it can make the complaint that it's not plugged in. Then we say, well, let's plug it in. Is that satisfaction, May? So we're going to now try this again. Oh, 
probably finishing our work for the day. Okay. So let's just remind ourselves what we need here. Uh, significantly heats and outputs the liquid piped into it. So what we want to do is we are going to put an output pipe for this guy. Uh, that we'll make out of lead. Output pipe is this one. Drop down. Do a liquid vent. Made out of gold. There. So that will be our output. We're going to see how it goes in this. Oh, it's not the coldest. Minus 10 degrees Celsius. We'll see how that, that does. Um... There's some polluted water in there. I don't know if I should clean that up before this goes in. No, it won't matter because what I'll do is any water that I do pump back from there, eventually I'll pump into here. And I can just go through that process. But for the water that is um, going into here, we will use our clean water. So I'll put a ladder... Here, just to sort of allow us... I mean, that door's locked, so no one's going to use it anyway. But what we can do is we can go plumbing liquid pipe from here. I don't think it's a problem that I'm using my clean water for this, because the clean water, if this goes down too much, the clean water from this tank will move into here, and then if that gets down too much, then we'll start to use our polluted water to fill that, to fill that. So... Um, our systems are all in place to, to cover everything. And I think that at the moment I have less polluted water than I have clean water. Definitely go that route. Okay, so we'll up this and then go across there. Uh, we can have a look what we can get here. That not a thing at the moment. Oh, that's that. Sorry. So, print twelve duplicates was one of my requirements for this. So, that's I guess one of the reasons. Like, I thought there was a reason I was going after twelve. She's good. Good science and medicine. She falls asleep periodically, which doesn't seem great. Increased air consumption rate. We don't really want either. So let's just take some food. Nice attempt to try and do this without getting wet. Awaiting coolant. Yeah, so that's everything there. Still, this says no power. What am I doing wrong with this guy? Let's double check the power lines are all connected. I mean, it's saying it's connected. It runs from there to here. This guy, this battery has 16,000 joules, the J. Why is this guy not? Power available, 1,000 joules. So what's the measurement of a joule over a, a what? Is that just saying that he doesn't have he has insufficient power? Definitely don't know what I'm doing wrong there. That one might have to wait for for explanation. Um Alright, good to see that at least we've got ceramic coming into the world. Oh, we've already got a fair bit of ceramic on hand anyway. All right, no harm in having extra. All right, how are we doing with our wire building at the top? Small sections of it getting done. 
It's still the same sort of rate of like, I'll get to it eventually. There's no priority on that cabling. That insufficient oxygen didn't generate, generate um, we consumed 658 last time and we only made 653. Yeah, okay, nerd. Who's complaining about that one? Hassan? Who's my science geek? Travaldo. And Hassan. But the two of you have complained about it behind my back. It just doesn't look like it's plugged in. I, don't, I can't think of any other uh, device where it looks like that. Am I misunderstanding the way that this wire works? I mean, it's the exact same description as a normal wire, so surely it's exactly the same. I'm missing something, though. I mean, that's saying it's connected. The minus 120 watts, I assume, is saying that that's how many watts it needs. The fact that this says 1000J... Is, is again a, a shift that I don't know. So let's go. How many watts in a... That's not a J. It's a, is it a backwards L? In a backwards L. I cannot Google that. I guess I'll have to just wait till next time but if someone else can... Point me in the right direction on that one. Still waiting. I imagine that our lead only gotten balled into pretty high demand. Let's have a look at the um, uh, material overlay. Let's see if we can find some lead. We have a maybe metals, iron. There's lots of iron around. Gold. for mine plenty of gold I need to keep looking at the same colors I've got to find something different out there there's lead not a an eye of metal I'm not googling what is lead. Filtration medium, sand, consumable ore, coal, beachstone. Oh my goodness. That's a metal, right? No, a lead pencil. You're not writing with, with metal. I got an idea. If I go look at something that's made of lead, uh, which is those wires, the liquid pipes, the, um, where am I? This. So we want to wait until we can see that light up. All right. Does it light up for something else? No. Beautiful. All right, it's a, it's a metal. Right? <laughs> if it is, I can't see it. I mean, I, I feel like I've seen all the colors down here. All right, scrap that theory. 
I would like to go recover more lead, but I can't work out what it is. How are you doing, buddy? 97%. We might see this happen today. Let's, uh, let's speed things up. Sneak it in. How are you doing, Nails? So she's on four. Nails on ten. I would imagine that Nails is science. You could see her... Blocker. Take over Camille, but... They're just having a conversation, or... Camille's just sad. Nails is enjoying what she's doing. So what was this doing? 5% a day? Someone did point out that the uh, the power cable was unplugged into these, but I'm pretty sure that was for a reason. Um, I don't remember what that reason was. I, I think it was because you have to put something in these maybe to, to get them to work with power, whereas they do still do a good job not powered. They just do it slower. But, but was is more sort of essentially acceptable. Um, let me just check up here too. If they if they corrected this, good. So there is now iron ore in them too. Shove vol is not what I was after there, right? Smooth hatch is there. What's a shove vol? Why have I got a preference for you? It's the uh, stone that I wanted to, yeah. No vols in there, right? Why have we got vols listed? Maybe it's their new discovery and so it automatically kicked the new discovery into into that thing. So I wonder if that'll do the same thing for the drop off. So is it kicking the hatch? The hatchlings food off if I um So I noticed that the hatchlings didn't have anything on here after I swapped. It's almost like the food is then just dropping. So maybe what we need to do is put a second critter feeder. With this one we need to say sedimentary rock for those two. And then just Wait for that to be built first. Because then that swaps this guy back to sedimentary rock as well. There he is. Hey buddy. Let's um pause for a second and say smooth hatchling, please. Tell me about yourself. Doofy little hatchling. Okay, so... Pausing again. So for this guy... Sedimentary rock for the hatch... And the hatchling. And we don't want anything else... Eating from this. We just want... Sedimentary rock... Those two guys. This one... We want to go... Smooth hatch... Iron ore. Smooth hatchling... Iron ore. Then stone hatch, iron ore, stone hatchling, iron ore. Oh, just those four. So one eat, some eat from one, others eat from the other. And that guy is welcome up here. I'm pretty sure I did. Someone come down and collect him, please. Son. What you're doing down here? No. Good job, Barney. There we go. 
new happy family. A totally different guy to what I expected. Filter's not designated. Didn't I, didn't I just say this one does iron and this one does... Way more trouble with this than I feel like I should be. Am I talking about this particular task or the game in general? I'll never tell. Just double check the age of these guys. That guy's definitely young. He's 17, so he's quite young. 21, so they're all pretty young at the moment. How many guys can I have in here? Eight? So there's still plenty of room for this stone hatch and it's that hatchling to come in. So anyone operating down on this um plastic? Do I have an order do I have to put an order in for plastic? I haven't checked on this thing for a while. We just make it a bit more of a is that all plastic down there? Or is that just a weird barrel that's part of this? No. Let's just double check. So if we go, uh, see all. No. See all. We say plastic. We're not doing too bad actually. So let's lower that priority on that thing. Back to five. I don't, it doesn't seem like they're using it at all anyway. Um, did I, need, I need to up the, the power cables though? Oh, that's the total potential load. Let me know if I need to up the power cables uh, for, for these two guys, for this guy, or if he's going to be fine. See, we've got a bit of... Yeah, getting into that. Like our natural gas. Let's just dig out two more top here. This guy certainly isn't doing much. So I've obviously not got much demand for him. But in part it's because something's wrong here. So we're definitely coming to the end of day 407. And so why are you getting hurt? Are you overheating? What have I made you out of? Granite. Maybe we need to rebuild you out of something hotter. Cold damage. Cold damage. Okay. Let's um dig out some of the cold around you. Or I guess activate it. Do I want steel? Do I need iron ore into iron? So all that iron that I've been using could be um could be a problem. Still got ten tons of it though. So let's make let's put in an order, make one ton of it. So you're now fully broken. <laughs> the ice now that's. We get all this ice around away from this thing please all right well that's where we'll stop here just focusing on this thing falling apart um yeah any questions or comments feel free to check them below and what am i doing wrong with the glass <laughs> until next time i'll catch you later see ya